Hello everyone, I'm tired and I could kill my husband for waking me up so early. He wants to know something about cooking. Seriously. I played Mortal Online only three years, so better ask Dr. Cast. And that is what I did. I mean, just uh, look at uh, these stats. If someone knows something about cooking, then it's him. Because uh, that are stacks. And the stats started counting in 2016. And he also started analyzing the cooking mechanics in Mortal Online 2. Okay, let's start with some of the basic info. Okay, first off, what skills do you need? You will need the material lores of the stuff you want to extract or you want to produce. The most stuff will be under botany or animal materials like flesh. So there are a huge amount of skills, uh, we don't need uh, everything, but it uh, just depends uh, on uh, what you want to cook. You will also need the skill cooking and advanced cooking. I mean, if you want to be a professional cook, then uh, maybe you need advanced cooking, maybe not, it depends what you want to produce. I recommend it. And you will need the crafting appliances, the cooking tools and the advanced cooking tools. You will also need the botany appliances for the herbalobium table, for example. We will uh, get into detail later on everything of these types. Here I will just uh, show you the botany uh, appliances. Um, and uh, yeah, you will need the herbologium table. It depends on what you want to do, but I recommend it, yes. You will also need uh, under extraction the herbalism and uh, milling. If you want to make flour uh, or baking bread and stuff, uh, then you need the milling operation too. Okay, first off, where do you get all these tools? From the cooking vendor, of course. Or we should better call him the cooking equipment vendor, I think. You will have a huge variety of cooking tools we will get into detail later. They are very cheap and each one of these has its unique uh, abilities. Second, we have the grocery vendor. He has a few spices and creams and milk and butter, which is pretty helpful to support some recipes. So first off, what are the cooking sources? You first thought, okay, let's use the furnace. No, the furnace is for extraction, but it's not for extraction only. Because as you can see, uh, I can't use the cooking tools in there. But here comes the trick. Open your skill window and uh, press to profession skills. You will have the cooking skill there. When you press the shortcut in front of the furnace and um, you start cooking, then you will use the furnace. In the old Mortal Online 1 days, um, there were a standing that you right now using the furnace, but if you throw um, something in here, then the furnace burns, so it means yeah, it uses the furnace. Note that you can also cook without any heat. That is a very critical information. You can also use your cooking tools all in the campfire, even in a placeable campfire when they come in game. But you can also cook uh, without a problem uh, without any heat source right now. Maybe they will change it later. Okay, let's start with the cooking pot. Yeah, I know it looks like a huge amount of information. Just pause the video for the infos you need. But uh, just for example, if you want to make a stew, it must be under 25% of liquid. Okay, let's talk about a baking stove. It's obviously for baking. I mean, who on earth would have guessed that? So you can make a huge variety of breads and stuff. For example, some flour, some carroton and some water and you can make a pretty decent carrot bread. If you have the skills, of course. Okay, now we move on to the steam pot. This is also pretty self-explanatory. You just need a minimum of 31 liquid base. And the result will have the prefix steamed. Recipes about that uh, later in the video. Okay, now let's move on to the baking pot. That is one of the meta items that Dr. Chaos used in Mortal Online 1 for his famous high health food. You can also use that to make pie. Maybe even creamy ones. Let's move on to the smoke box to make some smoked pork or something. Or how we call it in Bavaria, Germany. Agreichatz! Oida! You can make some pretty decent stuff in there. Fuel is wood or coal. But now to the one and only most sophisticated cooking tool. The fermentation jar. Because you can make beer in it. And also the most sophisticated food. But beer, one of the best tools ever. And now the one and only barbecue tool. The turn spit. Use some sexy springbok meat and top it with some marinade. Oh yeah. Now I'm hungry. Thanks Starvold. And now maybe you ask yourself. Like, I ask myself, where do I get all this stuff? There are some rye fields, just for example, at the pig farm. You can also find rice, flour and some other stuff uh, everywhere. Okay, nearly everywhere. You can also find many other ingredients everywhere. Nearly everywhere. For example, on a lake, you can find uh, common red maize, for example. Or you pick a red jambura from trees. 
If you collected enough rye for example and you want to make flour out of that then you need a milling skill and the grinder. And of course the skill for the grinder. And of course a grinder. Then you throw your rye in there and uh, press the extraction button and you get flour out of that. Nearly the same for the herbologium table. You can get seeds out of the herbologium table and cook with that for example. You can also use some seedew or some seedew leaves which will give your food uh, direct healing properties. But keep in mind you need the herbologium skill for that. And last but not least the press operation which I have no footage of sorry. But uh, this environment looks better anyways. You can make oil and juices with the press that you can also use as liquid base or as topping. It can enhance your food a lot. Here are some example recipes. Just for example, the basic cream has 4 health nourishment and if you cook it without any tool, it's 1550. With all skills at 100, of course. There are also some recipes um, that contain poison. So yeah, you can poison yourself or others and that's not so good. You can also make grow and shrink food and you can create for example millions of recipes with a lot of different properties. So here you have it. Now you have all the basics you need to become an expert cook in Mortal Online too. Support me on Patreon, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, like and subscribe and see you next time. Goodbye.